I have chosen the Netflix show Too Hot to Handle one of this about strangers back who are not allowed to have sex. Last time, I was the goal of the game. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm kind of excited. <laughs> This has been a difficult series so far. I think one of the things that makes it so difficult is there's so little honesty and integrity in the show. The producers of the show are being dishonest because they're playing this double game where on the one hand, they want to get as much attention as possible. They want to have a sensational show. But on the other hand, they're trying to claim that this is an activity for forming deep relationships and more meaningful connections. And that's completely dishonest. The contestants are only here to get famous and to boost their social media fame and recognition. And so I think that because there's so little honesty in it, it's very hard to relate to anything that's happening and relate to the characters, and therefore it's very difficult for me to enjoy. But thinking about this recently, I realized that this YouTube React series is kind of the same, because I'm basically trying to use a popular show to get views. I'm somehow aware of that, and it's been causing me some kind of psychic pain. This Too Hot to Handle series has just been basically an abysmal failure <laughs> on multiple levels, and it's been honestly stressful. It's caused me to reflect in kind of a meta way about seeking attention and truth and honesty. If I'm not enjoying it, why do it? That's been my struggle with finishing or not finishing, so that's something to think about going forward. I think in the future I should only watch things or react to things or do anything on this channel that I think is fun for me that I would get a kick out of or something that I would probably do naturally. That being said, I think that I do like to finish things and I feel like by making this video and finishing this series, I'm kind of paying penance. This is in a way bringing closure to a bad chapter. I'm basically gonna force myself to watch all four episodes right now, all four remaining episodes, and then put this behind me. I'm gonna be looking for little things of value that I can find. There are moments of decency. Like for example, I really liked Kel's reaction to Francesca's rejection. That was pretty good. I felt inspired by that. So I'm gonna look for those and point those out. Other than that, I guess we'll hit the major plot points, but that's about it. Let's end this too hot to handle chapter once and for all. I'm starting to look at the fish. <laughs> 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 So I like to see them having fun. I get the feeling that actually they're pretty decent guys. Just put in a situation that incentivizes them to be ridiculous. It just looks like they're having fun, honestly. Wonder what the girls are discussing. Dick. Honestly, guys, probably cost us money. Did you guys have sex? I can't have sex with you. You didn't. Wow, they really set me up. I don't give two shits about Rhonda and Sharon. They can do whatever they want, and I literally don't care. I think they're so boring. Like, I really have no interest in what they're doing in that secret room or whatever. Yeah, she's not wrong. But it does kind of suck losing money to people you don't care about. Like, when two people you don't like kiss and fuck it up, it's annoying. Fair point. If I had a financial advisor, and I was like, in the last couple weeks, I've blown money on kisses and titty licks. <laughs> titty licks? What are we missing? What are they editing out? Sharon and Rhonda have breached the rules. They did? The list of offenses includes oh. kissing, Aww. titty licks, inappropriate touching of the <laughs> constant use of the <laughs> in the was the camera on in the room with them? That's really creepy. That means that footage exists somewhere. Sharon and Rhonda's actions have cost the group Sixteen thousand dollars. Whoa! The most expensive private suite that I've yeah, ever stayed in. Yeah, that's quite a bit. But I paid for. Was worth it. Was it? Uh, Sixteen thousand. That's a wedding ring. That's a lot of money, still. Yeah, that's like a marriage, and it's two people too. So that was thirty-two thousand. And you're beautiful. It's like you're like the perfect package. Why don't you kiss me then? You want me to kiss me? I'm pretty sure they're getting paid in addition to the thing. You know what I mean? They should either do nothing or like just go all the way. It was the best three grand I've ever spent in my life. I feel like these people don't really understand money. There's so many better things I can buy with three grand. 16 grand, 32 grand. I can't even like, oh my god, I would buy a house. Not a full house. I put a down payment on a house. Women love houses and women. Good women like financial financial stability. You want to get a good woman? You want to experience a genuine connection with someone? Be more fiscally responsible. Save your money. Stop making out. It's a little bit of sugar. <laughs> it is. <laughs> the best parts of the show, honestly, are the moments where they catch the guys like messing around. They're like off guard. They're not meticulously planning their image. I'd rather just be honest and everyone hate me than like have to like cringe trying to be friends with people I don't like. 
I don't know that word. Like an effort when I get fucked with someone, and I'm just like, oh my god, like shut up, like stop talking. And that everyone in this house is an idiot, and I don't think Lana's process is doing anything for any of them either, because they're all stupid. I don't like her, but I kind of, it's weird that I agree with her the most. <laughs> what she's saying is right. When we have that shield down, then there's a whole wealth of... Damn, he's a heart warrior. It's a pretty cool job class. What is that? Sweaty balls? I'm no longer going to include anything that the narrator says because I think she's terrible and she's dead to me. What is Lana doing? You can write one or two or three words that represents that very thing that has been holding you back. Too hot Wait, to handle. I'm scared of success. I have fear of disappointing my family. I have fear of not finding love. I have fear of finding love. I have... Fear is real, man. It is so real and it... it, it just, yeah, fear is my biggest enemy. I feel like me and Kels broke down some barriers there. There is so much stubbornness and it sucks. I am here with you to get past this. This segment is actually really nice. Sometimes bad things make good things, I don't know. That was beautiful. Let's go to episode six. I think that was the best episode so far in terms of uh, in terms of value. There's there's something cool about the heart warrior thing. It's something that I kind of I guess I need right now because I'm like just in isolation, going nuts, watching too hot to handle. The fear thing resonated with me because it's like a weird time. I can't really see the future. I feel like I've lost direction somewhat, or maybe realizing that I never really had a direction, which is kind of terrifying. Ep six, ep six. I don't want to break the rules. In the grand scheme of things, this really doesn't bother me. This is good. It cost us more money. <laughs> I admire Kel's ability to bounce back from just about anything. He has a really good perspective on the way things go. Full on deep sleep chat. You found that there is. And how did you find that you found personal growth? How did you find personal growth from that standing up bamboo? <laughs> what, what's happened? He can't, he's got a shit chat. Yeah. And no bant. Yeah, that's a British translation? That's great. <laughs> Shit like chat. No bant. I want a geezer, but... That's a geezer. He could be a geezer in disguise. I'm realizing yeah. I don't know British English at all. It feels so weird how you're not being here. I know. Yeah. Literally. Where'd you go? Weird. Hayley, I have been evaluating your performance, showing signs of personal growth. Fail. Obeying the rules. Fail. 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 Insufficient progress has been made. Haley, your time in the retreat is over. Bye, bitches! I wonder what really happened. That's so suspicious to me also that she left. Saturday, I feel like she was pulling out a loose thread in the show and they got angry. Prepare for new arrivals. Prepare right, see, so it's not about progress. Because they're making progress, but now they're introducing grenades or whatever. I'm a ring gal for the boxing and MMA. I'm a water treatment engineer. I'm a model and I'm a stylist. It's a pretty cool entrance, not gonna lie. Hey man, David. The gaff is sick. The birds are looking fit. Yeah. Birds. Birds looking fit. Nice body. Um, got our fun on. Wow. Banter is a word that we hear a lot around here. Yeah. What do these words mean? I gotta look this up. To exchange witty and enjoyable conversation with someone. Bants? Bants? I don't know. What's geezer? Oh, it's like, dude. <laughs> there you go. So this wasn't a total waste. We all learned a new word. Unless you're British, in which case you learned nothing. Sorry. You look like a bit of a lad because you're so gorgeous, do you know what I mean? What's you're the like difference between lad and dude? Like <laughs> we got a geezer, a gent, a lad. Sharing a bed with Francesca is the biggest temptation. Is it a bath? You're definitely gonna fuck. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I mean they are, of course. Show's over. No money left, sorry. And then We had sex. They don't make it. They break up. I saw that as a headline in an article. So they didn't make it. Spoiler alert. <laughs> when I'm speaking to you, like, like, I genuinely know that you're a very nice guy. I think that uh, she will realize real quick that I probably was the better option. Nah. Harry and Francesca, you are the first people to have sexual intercourse in the retreat. The fine for this indiscretion is $20,000. Uh. 
20k is a lot. Mm. I'm not so bothered by that as I am by the fact that somehow Sharon and Rhonda managed to lose 16,000 without having sex. He's leaving. Guys, um, I do have something to talk about. The best way for a teacher to teach something oh, please. is to remove themselves from the uh, uh, I know It's time for me to go home. Bye. I've made awesome friendships. He left. Skip. All right. Well, that's it. Almost there. Almost there. Nicole still has done nothing. We're in episode seven. The final big step that I want to take is being able to talk about my son with Sharon. Does he not know yet? I don't know how he's going to react. I hope he doesn't oh, no. freak out. He doesn't even know. Rhonda. Would you like the opportunity to take one of them on a date? Yeah, Francesca. Homework. Your company has been requested on a date. Making up the rules as we go along. If your relationship is as solid, solid. As, then it shouldn't matter. You know what I'm saying? There was no reason to go I on it though. Uh, that's fine. I've got dressed Ouch. up as a Barbie while he's up there with big tits, Francesca. Thanks, Corey. You twat. Thanks, he Corey. The balls. <laughs> Chloe, you're too good for him. Harry, so, you're yeah, too good for her. I can't, like, jeopardize what I have with him. Shut up, right on. I was sweating like crazy. Dude, you just leave her for even going on a date. I just thought I'd let you know that I'm not going to be speaking to you. Okay. Can't bother <laughs> Except for right now. Any more yeah. On Except for this breath right now. Drama. Tell me about some of the negative things you've heard about female genitalia before. Face curtains. Loosey goosey. Smells like fish. Oh, that girl's <laughs> pussy like stinks. Damn. Ah! <laughs> Are you guys ready to start looking? You're going to be creating your own place of worship. By drawing a representation of your yoni. <laughs> this should be great. I'm, I'm very excited about this. For the comedic value. On your power, on all that you felt when it was what the hell is that? So, very excited. My yoni is represented by a unicorn. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> that is not what I was expecting okay. at all. This is not what I was expecting at all. <laughs> I bet Fran. Yeah. <laughs> This beautiful oh, it's just such poor taste. Cat. Yeah, we all got it. We got it. I feel like when I edit this video, it's gonna be 25% this scene. It's such a magical thing. Anyone who okay. in the future should be grateful for that too. And you should always protect your vagina. I'll put a condom around it. Well done, Chloe. Protect! I, thought they were, I don't know what I was expecting. I thought they were gonna be doing like actually anatomically accurate. <laughs> Smash like if you like vagina. It's not actually a nice painting. <laughs> I used to always joke about how the workshops were the thing I was looking forward to, but actually they ended up being the actually the best part of the show. My son. My son. <laughs> that is a lot to drop on someone. That's dope though. Yeah, but what's not dope is hiding it for however long this retreat has been going on. Like personally, I'm not freaked out by the kid, I'm freaked out by the lie. <laughs> that was a great entrance. Something about that swag it was good. I remember in the first episode I called David creepy, but he's become one of my favorite people. David, come on. It's creepy that it's all on camera. Lana's an inanimate object. But and somebody the was watching them on the camera. Oh my god. Jeez, oh. Lana. I don't know what's going on. What is this song? And who will take home the cash prize? This is from Blade? If there's any left. Well, this is the moment. This is it. It's like that. <laughs> that show's made me stupid. It's a home stretch. Before returning her residence to the real world, Lana will announce the winner and allocate the prize. Winner? Prize. There's a winner? Since when? Who will it be? They just so threw that in there last the minute. Who, they, who planned you. this? Honestly, they should be shot. Who is? This is like a whole new plot element they're throwing in here. Thanks, Lana. Fuck you, Lana. Bitch. And tonight, I would like to reward all of your hard work by giving you the chance to win back. Money. Just don't tell Francesca. Your challenge is to spend a night in the private suite with no 
physical contact. They constantly feck off the whole time. So it's episode eight. Nicole has got nothing. Nicole, still, you know? I think the show kind of wrote themselves into a corner because at this point they basically need to be able to say that people have experienced growth, or else it really just all was sleaze, and they're kind of like not admitting that. For an AI so robot, she's really I think this is a fake out, and suspense. nothing happened, and it's gonna be like they grew. Harry and Francesca did not have any form of Called physical it. contact. They're like dogs, like Pavlov's dogs. The light goes off, they just start salivating. <laughs> your partner should write on your skin the most hurtful words you have been called in the past. Heartless, moody, lazy. Oh, I feel bad for making fun of his appearance. My word is cow. It's cold. Why? I don't understand. You're going to be writing psycho. <laughs> Run! <laughs> I'll go through some really uh, awful that's awful. I'm sorry. Uh, Based on YouTube comments, I'd have to write cringe on my arm. Ah, I'm so sorry. If I was um, bullied throughout my childhood. He just came on the show with a bad vibe, to me. and it put me off. Real you know, once that is out of the way, he seems like a decent person. The front thing is very honest. I appreciate uh, that. Seeking validation in women, <clears throat> and also seeking validation from other men a, a about of, um, women. Self-confidence as far as looks go. In a way, it helped me do other things in my life. You know force me to learn how to do things that didn't matter what you look like. I mean, he's not bad looking either. It's just like on the island with full of with beautiful models. I mean, congratulations. You have completed your final workshop. Now go to the ocean and wash away those labels for good. It's actually a nice exercise. The workshops are so good. I don't know how to explain it, but like it's actually kind of touching. They're so vulnerable. Sharon. Oh my god, I felt what a donut. What a what? <laughs> what a what? <laughs> I have observed that not all of you have invested in the process equally. For that reason, the following people will now leave the retreat. I've absolutely shit me dax. <laughs> so, and that means I've shit my pants. Thank you for explaining that. Like, we really needed more of that. Madison. Oh. This is the first time I even really heard sucks, her name, so that's okay. But I seen that coming. She was just there, wasn't she? Like, what yeah. was she really doing? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and yeah. She's Corey. Lana. Obviously, Corey. Corey. Yeah, duh. I just feel like they're trying to get out of paying them. <laughs> All right, let's wrap this up. Oh god, there's 20 minutes left. It's either gonna go to Sharon and Rhonda, or it's gonna be split equally. It's one or the other. David, Chloe, Kels, Nicole. Lydia and Bryce, you are all winners. Yeah. But do they split it or do they each get the money? But above all, they've learned to love themselves. The $75,000 will be split oh, between you. Oh, no. oh, that's so lame. Give me, go give all of them $75,000. That's so cheap. But it's been the best time I've ever had. Bye, Nicole. Oh, Wish I could have gotten to know you. <laughs> Seems like some good came out of it in the end after all. We did it! We made it through the whole show and we're still alive, barely. God, I have very mixed feelings about that show. Uh, <laughs> let's start with the bad. It's very obvious what the bad is. The show is all over the place with the premise and the rules of the game and etc. It completely felt the entire time like the producers were just winging it and making things up as they went along. Then I don't like the fact that the show was trying to have its cake and eat it too. Like it was trying to be a super slutty, sleazy, but then it's also trying to pretend like it's about growth. The number one worst thing about the show by far was the narrator. My God, it was so painful. The good, the people, the people seem actually pretty cool. Like most of them are people that I imagine I would like to hang out with. The best parts of the show for me were two things. One, when the guys were hanging out and just joking around, because that's when they let their guard down. And two, the workshops. The workshops ended up being so fantastic. Like they're things that I think would be very moving experiences to go through. Like I felt actually touched watching the cast go through these things. Not the Yoni exercise, but like the warrior exercise and the, uh, and the writing the words in the body. Can we take anything away from the show? Like the fact that being honest is probably better. Like being honest is such a more powerful thing. When someone can have the confidence to let themselves speak honestly, I really appreciate watching them grow as people, even if it was wrapped up in this kind of plastic garbage about relationships, self-improvement and abstinence and money. And it wasn't really about that. I'm glad that some of the contestants seemed to have a good time. I guess it was a positive and I, all in all, I guess it was a positive for me too. So 
Although I'm glad it's over, I'm not gonna lie. It was a lot. Anyway, for those of you who are watching and left encouraging words and said that you enjoyed it, I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.